Sarah Z is an artist who was born here in America and she is really best known for her sculptural installations. She first showed at Asia Society 10 years ago and we've invited her back to do a much larger show. This room is really about uh, this intersection between drawing and sculpture and all of these works are new um, and they're completely unframed out of the frame. Really talk about the relationship of drawing to sculpture in a location where you can't really separate the two, hopefully, where it really deals with the wall, really deals with the floor, deals with how we orient ourselves in real physical space and also in terms of perspective in uh, two-dimensional space. How we describe depth uh, through drawing, through flat space, through tools of perception. So this piece is a sculpture that's entirely built through one point perspective. So all of the angles are angled um, in space. This one in particular has a very strong shooting one point perspective going back into space. But this idea also of the image itself creating a different kind of perspective, a different kind of movement, sort of making this pathway through, making these dual locations. I think what I always enjoy most about Sarah's works is the first encounter. Because I think on the one hand, we see sometimes quite large scale sculptural installations, but at the same time, they're new and yet very familiar because the kinds of materials she works with are something that we find in everyday life. So this piece to me is sort of a, in some ways a um, very direct reaction to this idea of, of what's a sculpture and what's a drawing. It's a model in perspective, but as a sculpture. The pieces are actually kind of framing negative space. Um, that's how I think about how they're installed. From quite early on, Sarah really wanted to open up the window on Park Avenue that have for nearly a decade been closed off. The work that she's created in the gallery actually extends outside and that's a little surprise for viewers, I think. If you look through this image, you see the, you see the cab outside, you see the movement, you see the image, you see the holes, you see the tree, and then you see it flip to the floor. This is also an example of sort of a very basic idea I was thinking about in the show of how do you make a drawing on the, on the floor and how do you make a sculpture on the wall and how do you make an object that sort of really fits between these two things and, and sits between these two things and, and you, it's neither one or the other. It's not completely a drawing, it's not completely an image, it's not completely a sculpture, and it, they require each other to complete themselves. It's this idea, of, I think, runs throughout the show of how you locate yourself in space, um, how we orient ourselves in terms of vision and in terms of physical space, so that you're constantly being oriented and disoriented, focusing in and focusing out, seeing images come together, seeing them fall apart.